Hello YouTube, Voltron00x here with a full review of the brand new Acer C740 Chromebook. Uh, this is an 11.6 inch Chromebook running Google's Chrome OS targeted specifically at the education market. Uh, as of right now, the availability is limited. It's not yet out on Best Buy or Amazon. You can get it from some retailers online. Uh, it is education focused but should have a broad release in the near future. It features the new Broadwell Class 3205U Celeron processor. Uh, it's the first Chromebook uh, release that has this uh, processor in it. Um, it also has a 1366 by 768 matte TN display. You can get it with 2 gigabytes of RAM or 4 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of storage. It has a full-size HDMI out, one USB 3.0 port and one USB 2.0 port, Kensington lock, and a full-size SD card slot. There's a few points in particular that I want to talk about with this uh, device. We're going to talk about their performance. We're going to talk about what makes an education device. Um, we'll take a look at the improvements relative to the C720. Um, we'll, we'll look at some drawbacks as well. We'll talk about the price, performance in Ubuntu, um, some of the issues upon release, and then some overall thoughts. So uh, to get started, the main reason I think people are going to look at this device at all has to do with its performance. So what I have here is uh, under one tab, um, a bunch of different websites, The Verge, Google+, CNN.com, uh, YouTube, Facebook, Google Drive, and Google Docs. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and restore all of these at once and show you how quickly these pages render. So here's The Verge. I mean, you can see how quickly this scrolls. Google+. Plus. As it loads in, you can see how quickly this scrolls. Here's CNN.com. YouTube. Facebook. Google Drive. Google Docs. And I have running also, this is a uh, shell here. But I should mention that I also have running in the background uh, Crouton. So we'll come back to that in a minute. But so you can see how quickly all those pages rendered in. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's really fast. Um, I've been really impressed with, with this processor. Um, the boot time is about five seconds. The C720 is, you know, six or seven seconds. This is four or five. So it's a little bit quicker. Um, it renders pages very, very quickly. I mean, it was rendering all of those at once, but you can see if I hit refresh. I mean, this is The Verge is a pretty uh, tough website for some of these budget processors to, to render. It is no problem with it whatsoever. Uh, so really impressive. Um, the Octane scores that I've gotten on this um, have been um, really quite good. Um, they've all been around... 13,000 to 13,500. I'm going to go ahead and run one, keeping in mind that we have um, a significant amount of stuff open here. Uh, we can let it run in the background and just take a look at what the scores are. But, you know, a score of around 13,500 um, is, is 20 to about 20% faster than the 2955U, which is itself significantly faster than the 2830 and uh, 2840N Celeron. Bay Trail chips that you'll get in some of these devices. Um, it's a, it's a, I mean, that's a good score. You know, you're looking at about um, an i3, a fourth gen i3 will get you about a 15,000 in Octane 2.0. So to have a 13,500 score um, in a 3205U, you know, the, the Celeron Broadwell is, is really quite impressive. Um, it's also worth noting that this chipset has a significantly better integrated um, GPU. Uh, than you'd find in the 4th gen Haswells and uh, much, much better than the um, Intel HD graphics that you would get in the uh, the 2830 Bay Trail. So supposedly this runs about as well as the Intel HD 4000, uh, you know, which could run some decent games at 720p at 30 frames per second. So, you know, the Darkness 2, Left 4 Dead, um, so, you know, it, it was a decent, um, not great, but a decent uh, integrated GPU um, that shipped with the third gen Haswell uh, core um, uh, processor. So pretty good. 
Um, so you can see we got an octane score of 13146 here. Again, that's with a significant number of other things going on right now. So still pretty impressive. So you know that's the performance. The performance I have to say um, on this has been uh, pretty outstanding. I mean I've been really impressed. So you know for your basic Chrome OS functions, um, this processor is is just fantastic. Uh, so what makes this an education device? Uh, well, there's a couple things. Um, you can see here, the hinges have this um, metallic reinforcement um, on each side, um, which lets you, uh, well, hopefully you're not going to be doing this, but it lets somebody kind of, you pick it up by the screen, um, it's going to prevent it from, from breaking. Um, it's also uh, got, um, supposed to have drop resistant corners, so it doesn't mean you can drop it from five feet off the sidewalk and not have it break, but you know, limited distances, um, the corners are, are drop resistant. It's supposed to be a reinforced uh, ruggedized design. Uh, it also has a, a slightly different lid. It's a thicker lid. Um, it's got a, a thicker coating on it than the C720. Um, it looks to me like it's a little bit nicer, um, should be more resistant to dents and scratches and dings, uh, which is certainly appreciated, especially you know in an education type of device. Um, you're going to have a lot of people using it, so um, makes sense. So how does this improve compared to the C720? Um, I think the keyboard is a little bit better. Um, I mean, the layout of it is the same. It's, it's no different. Um, but it's got a little bit better tactile response, a little bit uh, more travel on the keys, and a slightly um, stiffer feel to it, which I, which I like. Um, I find the typing to be you know, easy and accurate. Um, it has it's rated for nine hours of battery, um, which is a little bit more than the the um, C720 has from the 2955U. So you're supposed to be getting a little bit of extra battery life and better performance out of this processor, which is great. Um, so and uh, again, those um, for those that need the um, the reinforcement of the screen hinge and the corners, um, you don't get that in the regular C720. Uh, what are the drawbacks? The cost, it's $259.99 for the um, 2 gigs of RAM and $279.99 for the 4 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, I mean, the cost to me isn't that bad. The Dell uh, 11 with the 2955U and 4 gigs of RAM launched at $299.99, and a lot of websites said that was the best Chromebook you could buy at the time. So this is coming in 20 bucks cheaper than that with uh, better performance because of it. it has the fifth generation Broadwell chip. Um, it's also thick and heavy, so it's a little bit thicker than the C720, and it definitely weighs a lot more. Uh, so if you're looking for a really good travel companion, this may or may not be the device that you want. Um, so, you know, some things to think about there. You can find um, refurb C720s with 4 gigabytes of RAM for 160 bucks these days. You know, do you want to pay $120 more? Um, to have a, a faster processor, but um, you know, also have a thicker device. You know, some things to think about there. Um, how's their performance in uh, in uh, Crouton? Well, <laughs> it's hit or miss. So you can see uh, here. I've just swapped back. There's issues right now with, uh, and I've tried it in um, XFCE and in Unity, and and it has the same sort of cursor graphical issues in both. So. When you switch back again, it, it disappears, which is fine. You know, here's the, the desktop. Um, I've got a bunch of programs installed, Minecraft, Steam, and Firefox. They all work great. Um, I mean, the performance in, in Minecraft is, uh, is really good. Um, it's definitely better than it was um, on the previous generation chip, which is, which is great. Um, so, you know, if you're looking to game with this, um, it, it's, you know, I don't think you'll be, uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed, um, in the performance, uh, in, uh, in, in Crouton. I mean, it's, it's really good. Um, it's quick. It, you know, there are some issues though. Like I said, it's, it's not perfect yet. Um, I was able to get everything to run. I played, um, uh, Risk of Rain, uh, which is an, a great indie game, um, ran okay on the C720. Um, it definitely runs better on this. It's at 60 frames per second until the screen fills up with enemies. Um, I played Torchlight 2, 
on this. I had to turn down a bunch of the graphical settings, but it was playable. It ran, um, which is great. And, you know, you can play Minecraft and uh, even without, you know, Optifine or, or any of these, um, uh, you know, t types of things that would improve your performance. Um, it runs pretty well. Um, you can, certainly can turn the graphics options down and it'll run better, but um, even without Optifine, even, even leaving all the graphics options at sort of a medium level, it works, it works pretty well. Uh, so once they, I think, take care of some of those um, issues, um, just, again, it's a brand new processor, so you know, I think it's sort of to be expected that, um, that there would be you know, some, some challenges uh, at launch, but you, know, you can see here, this is with it on fancy and everything. Um, and you know, it's, it's pretty good. Um, fancy maximum lighting, you know, obviously you can turn some of this stuff down. You can turn down the, the, the render distance, you know, turn this to fast and, um, you know, that will significantly, uh, speed up the performance in the game. Um, you know, but even at, even at 12, which, um, you know, you couldn't play this with, with that draw distance on, on the uh, 2955U. It just couldn't handle it. Um, it runs well. So, and again, you install Optifine or, or drop the draw distance down, you're going to get even better performance than this. So, um, you know, if you're looking for a good machine for um, a Linux distro, this will be good. Uh, I don't know that it's there yet. Um, I mean, the other issue that we really need to talk about, I think, is... The trackpad, um, there's there's an issue with the trackpad uh, that's pretty significant. Um, the cursor sticks um, pretty badly, um, and also it doesn't always register uh, movement at all. There's a sensitivity issue. As a result, getting two finger um, any two finger stuff to work is really difficult. Um, it's a it's a known issue. There's actually a logged um, uh, Chromium issue for this that they're um, gonna be releasing a fix for but it's something to be aware of right now if you buy this device right now you need to have a mouse uh, you just you have to uh, the trackpad is just more or less non-functional so uh, so be aware of that um, so you know as far as how the device itself looks I mean it's you know I like it it's this is basically the C720 again you know, here's your here's your power full size HDMI, USB 3.0, and headphone microphone combo. This side you've got your USB 2.0 full SD card slot and Kensington lock. The SD card slot is just like the C720. It's not spring loaded. It does not take it all the way. It will stick out about 50% or so. And here's the lid. Again, it's a little bit heavier. Um, the finish is a little different on the lid. I, I do like it a little bit better. So. Um, it does have a fan. Uh, it's not a fanless system, um, but yeah, I mean that's uh, you know. Again, you can see if I flip back here, um, there's going to be issues with my cursor and I log back in, and now they're gone. So it's you know it's hit or miss. Um, Steam works fine. Firefox works fine. Um, um, I mean, I'm I'm really excited for when they have these issues fixed, because like I said, this will be just a, a tremendous, uh, tremendous system to to play games on and just to use as a as a full fledged um, Linux system. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you one last thing here. I'm gonna turn the device off, and we'll go ahead and turn it back on. Now again, it's in developer mode, but watch how fast it boots. I mean, it's it's really quick. Now, you may have seen that weird sort of graphical glitch there. That only happens when you're in developer mode. If you take it out of developer mode, you won't see that. So, um, you know, as far as rendering um, uh, video and stuff like that, Netflix works fine. Um, Amazon Instant works fine. Uh, and basically everything I tried, I had no issues, um, you know, which is great. Uh, you can see, I mean, you can really see how it's it's really fast. I'm really excited for them to sort of nail down the issues that this this uh, this has at launch. Um, 
And you can see how this just pops right up. There's no issues whatsoever with getting video started. You know, it's one of my, as much as I love the Toshiba Chromebook 2, and, you know, to me, outside of maybe now wanting to wait and see what other um, Chromebooks come out with this um, processor, um, for me, the Toshiba 2 is, is still probably the one to beat. Um, but uh, it's so much slower than, I mean, it's so much slower than this. Just unbelievable how much faster this is. So, you know, that device will stutter sometimes when just starting up one video. With this, I can have YouTube running, and I can have another video stream running, and I could go to, you know, any of these websites that would cause um, the Chromebook 11 or 13, uh, the Acer ones, uh, or, you know, the uh, Toshiba Chromebook 2 to stutter normally. And look at how fast this is even with video running back here. So again, just a great device. I mean, the other issue of course is the screen. This is maximum brightness. Um, it's a TN panel. You, you're gonna see the same issues with color inversion and stuff like that. I think it's a very slight improvement over the C720 screen. Uh, it's, I, I feel like it's a little bit brighter and a little bit sharper, but it's it may, same concerns still apply. So, you know, here it is, C C740 Chromebook. Again, brand new, will be coming out very soon. Uh, I'm sure at all the major retailers right now, you can get it through third-party sellers on Amazon. You can get it um, from CDW, but near future will be coming out. Um, I'm sure for all the other retailers, it's not the replacement for the C720. It's a supplemental release for education. Um, $259.99, two gigs of RAM. I would definitely, if you're gonna buy it, pay the extra 20 bucks, get the four gigs of RAM. Um, the processor is what's really exciting here though. Um, just knowing that there's gonna be more releases with this processor is really, really exciting because it is just awesome how powerful it is and how uh, snappy and how responsive Chrome OS is with this processor. Um, so look forward to your questions. I uh, hope you guys like this. Um, if you did, uh, like, subscribe, and ask me any questions, and I'll uh, do what I can to answer them. Thank you.